What? You don't want to put? Keep on talking about. Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sean. Happy birthday to you. All right, Sean, let's stand up and congratulate. Thank everybody. Anybody to give a speech? Oh, okay, all right. So, for in a dedication to Sean's birthday, I would like to show you how to simplify a rational expression with a radical binomial in the denominator. I did. Did I do this exact problem? Okay. So I know I went through it, but I just want to go through because you know student asked, hey, I messed up on this, so let's. Could you explain it? So I'm not going to go through since I did already talk about it last time. I'm not going to go through the whole spiel of why we're doing what we're doing, but I'm just going to kind of rewrite and say, all right, guys, when you have a binomial on your denominator, you have a radical. We have to get that radical off the bottom. So what we're going to do is multiply by the conjugate. The reason why we multiply by the conjugate is because when you multiply by the conjugate, you produce a difference of two squares. So it looks like Alex still has to say his same seats. So you have a difference of two squares. And what is so special about the difference of two squares is that, remember, when we have difference of two squares, our middle terms add up to 0, meaning all we're doing is multiplying our first two terms and our last two terms. So what we're going to do now is just multiply across. So this becomes 21 plus 3 radical 2, all divided by. Now I have to multiply these two, right? So I have to use FOIL. Now, if they weren't difference of two squares, you would probably using FOIL or box method would work. If you guys want to do that and check your answer against mine, please do. However, we know this is difference of two squares, meaning my middle terms cancel out. All I need to do is multiply my first two and my last two terms. 7 times 7 is 49. S negative square root of 2 times positive square root of 2 is going to be negative square root of 2 squared. Yes? Sorry. Let me help you out in a second, OK? So therefore, um, this just becomes 2. So therefore, I'm at 21 plus 3 square root of 2 divided by 45. Oh, 47, you're right. All right. Then I look at this and say, is there any way that I can simplify this any further? Is there any number that I can pull out out of all of those? Now, we know that the numerator and the denominator all are both divisible by 3. But is my denominator also divisible by 3? No. no. So therefore, that is going to be your finalized answer. OK? OK. So what I'm going to do.